good morning so today back to uh, snippet pixie next um i can't even remember what i was doing yesterday we will have a look ah yes okay started our journey to actually hooking up the front end with the back end um, so we have at the back end we've got a add snippet function and then on the front end we were just mucking about trying to see what we get when we do that so we have some console log um, when we add when we call the, the function on the back end through the uh, the go main app add snippet um, and we will just log in basically the results and catching errors and stuff like that. Okay, um, and did we, what were we doing? Were we throwing an error? Yeah, we'll just check to see whether the errors override the result and I think they do. So, um, let's uh, give that a quick test to see what's going on at the moment. So Wales Dev. Um, and if we do add snippet, put in some stuff, and hit save. We've got in the back end, we've got the warnings coming from here, log error and log warning, because I was just trying to try out the two different things. And presumably in the front end, but it doesn't work quite right there. So let's, um, let's switch to browser. There we go. And we'll get the console up there. If we do the same here, yeah, so we get a console log. Oops. However, if we instead let's uh, reduce the size of that. So if we don't return an error here. So we're going to return, just going to return um, a snippet object um, with the abbreviation and body just set to what we were given. Save that. Right for an hour. Hmm. It did. Okay, try again, wonder why. Okay, let's do that over there. Okay, and it's back. Just do a refresh just to make sure. Okay, and then we get the object back, which has got the abbreviation and body that I've just entered, and then um, an empty ID and last use because we didn't set anything. We haven't actually done the right things yet. Okay, so we need to start hooking this up to the real deal. Um, so the way it works um, is that what we've done is we've built um, a daemon which runs and manages the snippets database and it exposes a um, dbus interface um, for taking commands and returning results and stuff 
And then so, so previously we built a CLI um, that uses that Dbus interface to do such stuff. Um, now we're going to work on a, we're working on the GUI. Um, so it's going to use the same Dbus interface on the go back end. Um, to talk to the daemon uh, and add and list and so on uh, the snippets. So what we need to actually do here in, is call the dbus service um, and see what we get. So we're going to do something very similar to what we did in the CLI. In the CLI, we have an add snippet. Um, it takes an abbreviation and body. Um, and then via the dbus service, interface as such, Um, it grabs it calls the, the dbus it does a call on this on this dbus service connection as such to add snippet with the abbreviation and body and then it stores the result in this snippet and then checks it. Um, basically creates uh, a standard snippet from a dbus snippet. dbus snippet has to be slightly different um, just because you can't transfer raw dates objects. You have to string version of a date or in, I think in my case I'm using timestamp. which is just a large number. So we're going to do what we're going to do here. Um, dun, dun, dun. Need to do something very similar. Very similar indeed, actually. Even the ping would be useful. I'm seriously considering some way of reusing this code completely. Because it is actually very... It's pretty clean. There's nothing there that's kind of CLI. CLI specific, maybe. What have we got here? Even the uh, sync snippets, which is basically used for import. It is just passing a whole bunch of snippets 
rather than, say, like a file reference. Which is probably best. Because um, in theory, eventually, you could actually have a, a snippet daemon that runs on a different piece of hardware completely. Um, when you talk to it over IP. So, not that you would, but I wonder how can I, can I reuse this? So in this CLI, oh, where do I do that? On the run, I connect. Get D bus connection back along with a service that I can ping. I might need to have a little play with this, see if I can change that up so it's more independent. And then just reuse it. So let's double check what we've got going on here. So what we're going to have is we ask it to create a new dbus service. It connects to the session bus. And it connects to the object. Creates an object, sorry. dbus object on the connection using our known destination and path. We create a new struct to hold that and pass it back.
And all we do is pass that service back through. To call the functions. Okay. It's just used for this kind of thing here. Pass in a service and say, call the ping. It then has context effectively for doing its calls. There's no reason so far that I can't reuse all this code. Kind of thinking should I move all that debus stuff into where did I put the debus service there? No. No, that would be silly. But there's no reason why I can use that as an internal package. I think. Let's do a couple of things. So what we're going to do is I'm going to first of all do a sanity check. So I'm going to um, hold on. Let me uh, I'll kill that off and that's cute like that. Uh, right, so we'll do a make cream of the entire thing. We'll do a make quick make test. Okay, and then in the daemon. stuck in my head now. Right, it's snippet snippet D. So that's just running now. And then on the CLI, we'll come down to the CLI here. Make sure it works. So snippet list SP. Okay. So that's given us was it five? 
five snippets there um, in the terrible format that I still need to fix up <laughs> um, of snippets that are in the daemon. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something silly now. I am going to, in the CLI, let's close that off a sec. I'm going to create a new directory. I'll just call it service. And then I'm going to move that into it. So what did that do? Oh. It's now called service. Rename it to service. Right, without doing any more changes, because I'm going to do a little bit of clean up, I'll save that. Um, and I will make and try again. Still works. Um, I don't really want that to be called service 2. So I'll rename that. And then I'll rename that. So that should in theory have done fix there. And then we can Get a shot of that. So okay. Give that another make. Actually, before I do anything, let's do a quick make test in here. Okay. And then I'll just run that list again. Cool. Okay. 
So. We've now moved. Deeper service, deeper service. kind of want to rename it because <laughs> it's actually a client it's like a client interface isn't it Passes. Okay, so we've now got an internal package for, from what I can tell, pretty clean. Communication with the daemon. I don't think I've got anything that's client um, CLI specific in there. So I think I'm good to use that. Um, now I need to uh, let's just quickly check. Um, see what we've got. Okay, that's a fairly clean thing there then. So what I can do is that, that, yes, yeah, so a service, command CLI main, and the internal service, service. That's all that's changed. I can commit them. Move. CLI dbus service into internal service Expanded use that do. Okay. So now let's start 
using it. We hope. So in our app, <clears throat> okay. Start up. Perform your setup here. Well, that's good, but 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 where do I say? Oops, things have gone wrong. I think. this All right so the app construct a new app which is a struct and then okay so when we do the run Pass in all these options. Okay. It just so happens that we have on startup is that. Done ready. Hmm. What I could do there So I don't want the I don't want the window to stop coming up. I want it to come up. And then I want it to check to see whether the daemon is up and running in the background. Um, potentially it could start if it's not. But that's, that's a task for another day. Um, in theory, all I want to do is... Okay, window is shown. Do we have a service? And then I could use, well, it's got like an event system as well. So I could try and connect, try and get everything up and running. And then emit a, an event. that says, oops, demon not running, or everything looks good. So service connection, something or other. Okay, let's try that. So what we'll do, um, so the basic premise here, here is that what we want to do is basically what we did in the CLI. Um, Let's go quickly look at that again. This. We're just setting up a new connection and service that uses that connection. 
I could just steal this code actually. So let's do that. And then when the DOM's ready, we'll do that. Use variable, okay. Well, you will resolve in a second because it's there. Um, if I save that, I'll sort itself out eventually. Actually, if I just do, um, Do. Interestingly, why does that not? So I don't reference an internal. The daemon doesn't have his own mod, does it? No. There is the gooey stuff. Okay. Should be all right. We'll try in a sec. Well, in theory, in theory, that should work. Apart from the fact that we don't have an error being returned here. So, um, And we don't want to defer compose here. I'm going to have to do it earlier. Because that dbus connection is to stay awake. We need to do it in main. Unless uh, 
and then so all we do is stuff it into app. And then just do a shutdown to clean up. Because we're going to be using it on the app anyway. So we will have dbus.com um, which is uh, Yeah, debus con, okay. And then we're gonna have a service, which is a service service. And then potentially an error. Okay, and I should do on close, I guess. You know what, I think what I'll do is I will do all this along here where it says I should do it. Do you set up and then and close, I'll do this as well. So this will be Okay, mouse close. And then I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably get a reference and then um, do something with them. So if we have an error, we're going to what? Do nothing. Just return. Otherwise, A D bus is going to be equal to our D bus connection and then our service, which is using the D bus. Okay. 
identifier there. Still very annoying that that's not doing its resolution stuff. Resolve already. Used by that because I've not had to use I don't know why it keeps complaining about these things. What am I doing wrong here? Because in the manager, I don't need to do this. And go mod. Right, let me clean out some stuff here. Get to what I actually need. I want that go mod. Should I be... Putting everything in? So I am in GUI 
And I want to go back up to, and then into package. Not sure we're actually even using debug service yet, but debug service. Okay, it's not used. So, in the same way. I'm just going to do this instead as well. I'm just going to check. Oh, I've just twigged. Don't. Because <laughs> I haven't got them. Oh, I don't have one in there either. But yes, I need to make sure it has all the bits it needs, and I haven't done that. So, yeah, it's not going to do anything there. to do this internal stuff. Right, so we're not directly using that. So we can take that out. And if I got the um Yeah, see, you want some mod file. I shouldn't need to call it because I'm not, it's not a published module. That's why it's weird. Okay. 
packages we've got. Snippet, debug service, they're fine. And then my GUI star, just make sure. It's fine. And then in the package itself, let's use those. And the debug service, it's all sorted. That's fine. CLI, we don't have anything. The daemon, we don't have anything. But the GUI, we do, and we're having problems. Should I just move this all up? Maybe that's the solution here. If <laughs> got these two published app packages but we want to use them privately at the moment. We want to use the local version. For our actual apps, we want to obviously use those two packages. Then we also use UUID. In the two packages, we are using debug services using the local package of snippet picks, see of the snippets. It also requires UUID and it's got the test and library from that. Then we've got in snippet, all we need is UID and the test and library. For the GUI stuff, I'm going to take this. Um, we've already got that up top, so I'm going to do something silly here. 
I can always revert it. Right, I'm taking a copy of that. And then the main mod, I'm going to dump it, take out that, because we already got that, take out that, because we've already got it. And then in the GUI, 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 where's the GUI up here? Delete. This could be silly, but I'm going to give it a go. And then we need to get rid of that as well. And then go mod. Should. In theory be okay top level for my apps and now it starts resolving okay interesting so you have to be careful about having multiple levels of go mod that's new to me, because I don't know. Go, so. Um, okay, so package main is now kind of starting to work. Um, right, okay. Yeah, so that's a pointer. And is that a pointer as well? No, so why is that complaining? Oh, because I got the wrong type. Right. Now we're starting to get somewhere. So we have an app. It has a connection to the D bus service. Um, and we have a service structure use with it. On startup, we're going to go create the DPoS connection and construct our service. Which holds the object, okay. Which is fine. We're then going to save those references. And then when the app closes, we're going to close off the DBus connection as a cleanup. Uh, 
Um, and so far we're not using that at all. But let's just check that everything compiles up now. Make clean all. Make tidy. Okay, so let's do a quick, I don't care about 16, we're not doing 16. So if we do mod, make tidy again, has that fixed everything? No. So what does that do then? Okay. to tell them. But in theory it will work. We'll see. Make. Nope. <laughs> Broken it now. Because because uh, Wales wants a local one. I thought that might be an issue. I wonder if I just need to move everything up. That would be a bit nasty, though. 
would not. Oh, I found that time. Didn't realize. Yeah, I can't move that. Okay, um, I'm going to have to reinstate. The GUI mod. Go mod. So I better do that just now. So. Get restore command GUI go dot mod and bet just make sure I do the sum as well. And then I'm gonna to have to start cleaning things up properly. Where's that? Actually, before I... No, I need to go, but... What did I do here? Added whales. Added all the whales dependencies, and that's it. Okay. All right. So, get restore command GUI go dot mod command GUI go mod no nope, go dot sum. And then also go dot mod and go dot sum here. And then I'll just have to try and fix things up properly. Okay, well, I've got to go. Um, I will have to fix that up later. It will be this evening. That was annoying. Okay. All right, uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching.